we will see another drone in the air. Say hello to the bird lady. I've been teasing this clip in a couple of the videos that I've been releasing here on the channel, so I guess now I really owe you the explanation of what was going on. But before we get to the bird lady, some of you might remember that I posted a video about the bird man. Which was a drone confrontation that I had when I was out flying a brand new drone and I had borrowed where I had to deliver some video content uh, the same evening and I only had a single battery to do that. So I picked a remote location and all of a sudden the Birdman jumped out of nowhere and started to telling me what I could do and what I couldn't do. And he was clearly not informed about the local regulations and he was jumping to his own conclusions. Back then the rules were different. You had to notify the police at least 24 hours in advance if you had to fly inside urban areas. And you also had to have like a commercial purpose to be able to do so. And all of that was in place, so it was completely unjustified that he jumped me and uh, started a discussion with me. It was actually him that was breaking the rules as he was engaging into an active flight. Even though that you don't break the law, drone confrontations like these are pretty unpleasant and might spark your drone anxiety. Anxiety, 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 I think it's called. <laughs> <laughs> so I try to compensate for that every time that I go out flying, thinking if this could lead to some sort of scenario. Especially when you're concentrated and the cameras are rolling and all that stuff, the last thing that you need is somebody to come and interfere with the sort of the recording process. Let's just summarize the overall rules for sub 250 gram drones in EU. You are allowed to fly in the open category under A1 meaning that you are allowed to fly over people inside urban areas. You are not allowed to fly over crowds of people. And of course you need to keep a safe distance to critical infrastructure as well as government buildings and airports etc. And of course you need to respect privacy. You are not allowed to fly over private property or film people inside private property using your zoom functions or such without prior consent. Apart from that, there's pretty much no restrictions. So when I got the chance to test the Mini 3 Pro up against two of my other 4K capable sub 250 gram drones, I decided to pick a location where I could do this more or less undisturbed. So I picked the spot on the parking lot close to where I live, sort of with the furthest distance to all the houses in the surroundings. I was also doing this in the morning around eight o'clock, so the chances of people sitting in their gardens enjoying a glass of rosé, that was pretty minimal. This was going to be a simple test. I would fly three drones up to an altitude of around 20 to 30 meters. I would record a couple of clips of reference video as well as some reference photos and then land the drones and then simply just record the video and that's it. And I would keep the drones in close proximity to me, so I was not going anywhere near the housing. So I was not expecting that someone would approach me. So while I was messing around with the video, looking at the screen recorder and stuff, I could see a red car was approaching and it was parking quite close to where I was doing my recordings. Put this in 30 meters. Then if we are lucky, we will see another drone in the air. And this one will allow me very basically, I think, to film. I kind of know from experience now that this can go either way. Either it's somebody that knows me and just wants to say hello. I've actually experienced that a few times. Or it's somebody that thinks that you're not allowed to fly there. And as you can probably figure from the title of the video, it is the last option that happened here. She jumps out of the car and starts by saying, I'm pretty sure that you are not allowed to fly drones here. And I'm replying, so you're sure about that? From where do you have that knowledge? And then she replies, in relation to how close you are to buildings and property. And because I know the rules, I told her that I would just land the drones and then we could continue the conversation. But apparently she was not interested in that because she had to take her son to school. 
So then at least I would tell her that she could go into dronerailer.dk where there's a local Danish translation of the rules. Yeah, but you know what, I think you should go in on... What do you do? But then she turned around and came back and started filming in my car and doing all sorts of weird stuff. So I asked her, what are you doing? Then she's waving around the cell phone and recording me and she's saying that she needs to film the car as well. So I told her she was free to film me all that she want, but it goes both ways as she was stepping directly into my recording studio. So I flipped the camera so I kind of recorded her in the middle of her act. And then she was going back to the car and I told her to have a nice day. Then she keeps talking. It's very difficult to hear because the audio is not, was not set up to record her voice. Ved du hvad, øh, må jeg sige noget til dig, inden du øh, sådan... Øh... Nej, jeg skal lige... Øh... Ja, men lad mig lige give dig et tip. Jeg har faktisk lige har snakket om det her, det har jeg ret mange gange. But she uh, she kept saying something about that they have been discussing this uh, back and forward at home. So maybe they have been annoyed with me flying at this location before. So now she thought, now I have the chance to nail him and document this bastard uh, disturbing our privacy. But I do want to say for the record, I never overflown any of the properties around this parking lot. Jamen det er godt. Men gå lige ind på dronerailer.dk, når du kommer på arbejde i nærheden af en computer, så vil du faktisk kunne se det. Yeah, this is short, this is Then again, I'm pushing to trying to get her to understand that the rules are pretty simple. They are listed at dronerailer.dk and she could just go in there and read up on it. She says exactly like the Birdman that she has already been in there. And then she slams the door and drives off. So, this video is not to expose her as a bad person. It's just a lack of knowledge. So this is when you're flying in urban areas, something that you need to be prepared for. So make sure that you have uh, understood the local rules and your rights. It's always easy when you watch videos like this to tell me what I should have done and what I should not have done. But when you're in the situation, it's very, very hard to prepare for this. So you need to somehow have all the stuff ready uh, at least a base knowledge and maybe you should not enter into a discussion. You should simply just call the local authorities and then hand the phone over to the person and let them talk them down. Because flying a sub 250 gram drone poses no risk as, as long as uh, you are applying to the rules that I stated in the beginning of this video. If you missed the video with the Birdman as well as the video comparison that I actually was set out to do during this uh, confrontation, then you can access them through these cards. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.